Hi, welcome to the installation and usage guide video for the RSS Bomber. Now, I'm over at one of our sites here, 30daychallenge.com uh, blog, and I'm basically going to show you what the RSS Bomber does and how to install it. Um, so if we have a look here, you can see we're at our, uh, our blog, 30daychallenge.com slash blog. If we go to one of our posts, and I'm going to navigate to that post, you can see at the top we have the permalink for 30daychallenge.com and then the blog title. Now if I append to the end of this slash feed this will then give me an RSS feed for that blog post however you can see it's for the comments of the blog post it's not actually the blog post itself. Um, so this is no good for us because we want to syndicate out our actual blog post and not the comments. So in order to do that we need to install uh, the RSS Bomber plugin. So what we need to do first is we need to navigate over to our WordPress dashboard and that will be your site followed by forward slash WP admin as you can see here. So I've logged in to the the dashboard and also uh, this isn't the most recent version of WordPress um, really you should be making sure that you are upgrading to your latest version of WordPress to make sure that your security uh, and any issues any bugs uh, are updated uh, we're quite naughty we're on 2.7.1 and we should be upgrading to 2.92 uh, make sure that's done shortly however now you're into the dashboard area we need to add our new plugin so if you go to the left hand side here you'll see under the plugin section we have an option to add new so if you click on add new and then in this next page uh, you can see I can install a plugin in zip format uh, and the RSS Bomber plugin comes in zip format so you can upload it directly now if you're not seeing this install page because you're on a different version of WordPress you might find up here where it says start page featured popular etc you might find there's an install uh, option there or an add new option there uh, click on that until you get this browse box so once you've got to this page click on browse and then find the plugin that you've downloaded which is here rssbomber.zip and then click on open and then once you've got it in there you then click on the install now button and it will install it now it will ask for your hosting details for your FTP to log in uh, so you just put in your host name your username and your password and then click on proceed and then what that will do it will unpack the plugin install it and then you just click on this link that says activate plugin so what we have now is our plugin is activated and you can see it's down here RSS Bomber. Now there's one thing that you need to do before you start using it. Head on over to the settings section on the left hand side and click on the reading link. And then in the next page when that loads up you'll see here it says for each article in the feed show and it gives you the option to show the full text or the summary. Now we recommend you click on full text so that you pull in the entire content of that individual blog post. Uh, because you will have written that and keyword optimized it and done all the wonderful things you wanted to do if you only click on summary it will only pull in uh, either the first couple of hundred characters of the blog post or whichever um, text you put into the excerpt box on the add post page uh, but we recommend you click on full text and then click on save changes what actually happens now if we go back to our blog post once you're installed and active, if we click on our blog post once more, and then now, up in the address bar, if we atta attach feed onto it, now at the moment it looks like it's got comments on, but I'm actually that's because it's a cached page. I'm going to um, hold down the shift key and then reload, and then what we should find, ta-da, we now have the full blog post f uh, feed for that feed so as you can see at the top 30daychallenge.com slash blog it's over 30dc forward slash feed uh, and you have the entire feed if I click on subscribe now it will take me into I'm going to add it to my Google reader and there it is 
it's over 30DC plus and it's the entire blog post and there you have it so all you need to do now is go into various RSS aggregators and directories and paste in um, that that feed and you are done and basically you can just go back to any of your blog posts and just add forward slash feed to the end of it and you get a unique RSS feed that you can submit now the last thing I want to show you is the um, admin panel so if we go back into our uh, our dashboard and I'm going to scroll down here and on the left hand side here where we've got the settings menu we actually have one for the RSS bomber so if you click on that that will take us into the the settings now the good thing about the RSS bomber is every time you publish a new blog post it will send you an email and in the email it will contain uh, the full unique RSS feed link for that uh, new blog post and then so basically you don't even need to come to the site uh, or go to your site to grab your RSS feeds they'll be emailed straight to your inbox so all you need to do is copy that URL and then go in, uh, to the RSS directories and the RSS aggregators and paste it in and then submit it um, so it cuts down a heck of a lot of time for you uh, and also the other bonus as well in the email address box you can put in different email addresses um, separated by a comma and basically what that will do is it will send the, the link to uh, the, all the all the email addresses that are on that list so if you're outsourcing some of the work if you're outsourcing the uh, the submissions to the directories you know you can set it so that that email is the uh, your outsourcer's email so as soon as a, a new piece of content is um, published your outsourcer will get that email and then they can go away and, and out you know do do the business for you um, this is also really handy if you've got some blogs which have got auto content posted to it so you don't have to keep going to your blog every day and, and grabbing the new link and then adding slash feed to the end of it it just all comes straight into your inbox um, so basically you know you can change whatever you want in this email message but do not change that bit that says post underscore RSS underscore URL uh, because that is where um, the plugin will insert your your unique link but you can go and change any of this content up here uh, and best blog admin down there that's fine all you need to do is change that and then click on the save changes button but really the RSS bomber it's a one-click solution you install the plugin you activate the plugin um, you go and change the email address that uh, where you want to be notified of your new posts um, and add any extra addresses in separated by a comma and then when you want to go and submit any of the um, unique RSS feeds to the feed directories or aggregators you know any new posts will get emailed to you if there's any old posts that you want to go you know maybe you've got a blog which has got 200 posts on there uh, over the past year or so or however long you know just go and grab the URL and add forward slash feed onto the end of it and you've got a unique RSS feed for every post that's on your website uh, so that's that's it for this video that tells you how to install it and how to use it and exactly what it does if you have any issues with it um, you will have received uh, in your welcome email a support email address we've got a dedicated support desk um, please don't email any other any other address apart from the support desk because that is where you know you need to go for, to for support um, so if there's any issues get in touch with support and we will see if we can help you out but you know Go and start dominating via RSS today and uh, good luck.